All right, so here we are with the 2005 Saab 92X Aero, otherwise known as the Saabaru. This is a car with currently 112,000, almost 113,000 miles on it. I've owned it for the past three years going on, three and a half here, and I've really enjoyed it. It is a nicer Scandiavan looking uh, Subaru WRX wagon, and I wanted to walk you through a few things. Uh, as I'm planning on selling it soon, so a good opportunity to do that. It comes more or less with the same dash as a Saab, or sorry, a Subaru WRX. Same CD player, same interface here, same shifter, um, same five speed that would be in a WRX. The dash is a little different um, from what I can see in my wife's 07, but for the most part, very much the same. One thing it does come with that the WRX does not is this leather, this two-tone leather interior that goes all the way throughout, and I'll have pictures of that as well. Um, this one comes with the cold weather package, which includes uh, the seat heaters up front. I have a heated windshield as well. The Saab 92X does have some differences than a Subaru WRX in that uh, this has like the, the nicer interior. It has slightly different suspension tuning. Um, the Saab engineers wanted to adjust that slightly, but aside from that and some extra sound deadening and the STI steering rack that comes with this, this car came uh, from the factory the exact same as a WRX in that it has the same engine, which I'll show you, the same transmission, um, parts from the WRX fit on this and the other way around, which I'll show you some uh, here in just a bit. So I will uh, start it up so you can see it idle here real quick. See, no problems uh, starting up. Settles right down. I have been driving it just now, so it is it is warm. Uh, this isn't a cold start, uh, but I did just wash it, so uh, that would be why. Uh, AC works great. You can't tell it, obviously, from a video. It's got the uh, multi-disc CD player. Uh, Horses for less CD player does work. Uh, I do have an auxiliary cable run into the back of it, so you can hook up your phone. The, this car is only slightly modified. It has some STI parts on it. It has an STI up pipe and an STI uh, exhaust. So you might not be able to hear it from the car, but it is a very subtle sound. I'll give it some revs here so you can hear it. Again, very subtle. Um, that's what I was going for. I didn't want uh, anything that would be obnoxiously loud all the time. Although, along with the STI parts, I do have an aftermarket downpipe and some tuning done to up the boost a little, give it a little more power. And I do have a uh, electronic cutout, which I have run to a switch, which hopefully you can see right here. So by just pulling it back, it opens up a exhaust cutout, so you should be able to hear it now, it's much deeper. And with a, just a quick rev. significantly louder but again something I can push the switch and and it's closed so I will show you that under the car as well and here's the outside of the car we have uh, different wheels that, than what came on it it came with some 16 inch wheels that were pretty beat up and had some older tires on it so I've updated it a little bit with uh, these 2007 WRX wheels um, they have really new tires on them I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but um, I'd say these are only a few thousand miles old uh, at the most. Um, they came on my wife's car and then we swapped them over. So, uh, good upgrade there visually. Um, so, it does still have the hood scoop that comes with the WRX, it's a different scoop, but same overall design. Similar shape, really from about here to here it looks exactly like a WRX and here's the back we'll back up real quick so I've tinted the tail lights with a film that can be taken off in just a couple minutes and I've plastic dipped the, uh, the badging there black but again that can be taken off really easily so those are those things here is the STI exhaust canister I do still have the uh, the OEM one but this one has a slightly larger outlet, sounds a little bit nicer. And we can now show you, show you here. Should be able to see the, oh, where is it? Yep, should be able to see the uh, electronic cutout there. 
Um, so it dumps out right there. Sounds quite loud and quite fun when you want it to, but not too bad other times. Um, issues with the car. Um, there are a couple paint issues that I've covered up. So hopefully this focuses. Yeah, so there's a little tiny little rust spot there that I've uh, covered up. And there is one up here as well that I've covered up. Paint didn't exactly match as well as I wanted it to. Um, but I at least covered it up uh, as best I could. A couple other dents. There's a minor dent that you might be able to see there. And I think that's it for dents. It does have some minor chips uh, in front um, that go along with being a 113,000 mile car. It does have the holes from a front bumper mount. Um, oh, it does have the, I believe, Xenon headlights uh, as part of the upgraded um, package that came with this car over some others. So that's something that you can't get in WRX as far as I know. And on the driver's side, some little chips down here, um, but nothing major, I'm pretty sure. So you can take a peek at the back seat. Um, it, again, leather, it's in pretty good condition. And the trunk here, take a peek in. Some little scuffs and stuff from loading in, but uh, overall, pretty good condition. Um, I think that's really about it as far as describing the car. I will post up some pictures along with this so that uh, you can get an idea in still frame as well. So please let me know if you're interested and I'll have it listed shortly. Thanks.